Hey, what's up, guys? Norchetto here. Thanks for stopping in. And a happy new year. Happy 2019. I hope everyone's new year and, and the first part of the year has been great. Mine's been wonderful. And uh, as you can tell from the intro, if you didn't notice, I am now officially working for The Game House. So... Uh, definitely keep an eye on their website. If you don't know who the Game House is, where have you been? Uh, they've been putting out really good articles and, and a lot of good news about the Overwatch League uh, specifically for, for a while now. Uh, a lot of great coverage in Season 1. Um, they also write about other esports and, and traditional sports, but uh, they've really had a presence in the Overwatch League um, you know, journalism community, and I'm really, really excited to be a part of this. Um, this is not going to affect uh, this channel uh, as far as the content I'm putting out. I'm still going to be putting out these news videos, and I'm still going to be putting out my kind of game overviews with the clips and everything. So don't worry there. You know, keep subscribed, stay watching here. But also, I'm going to be making more content with them. It's going to give me the opportunity to work with people um, already immersed in esports, uh, maybe do some new video content, podcasting, and maybe even some written articles coming out. So definitely keep an eye there and uh, I'll put a link in the description check them out a lot of talented people over there um, one of which is Darby Joyce who before I uh, it, you know accepted this job and, and had this going on I, I was holding my Mary Rainmus contest and Darby one of the writers over there won one of the shout outs and um, completely you know no bias working there aside looking at her articles she's she's an absolutely fantastic writer uh and is specifically covering hangzhou and uh, uh philadelphia news uh so definitely keep an eye on that if you're a fan of either of those teams she also did a, a great write-up about the uh, charge versus dynasty pacific show match that happened a week or so ago and um yeah it's, it's on the site i'll put a link in the description check her out um one of many amazing uh, team members over there. So um, I, I really appreciate all the support and where it's gotten me. And I really appreciate the staff over at the game house for taking me on. It's uh, it's going to be a huge year guys. It's going to be a huge year. And uh, speaking of which February 14th opening day is approaching very quickly. And uh, we've had a little bit of news drop in the weeks leading up to now. Um, we've had the jerseys come out. Now, this is something that we've all been wanting for months at this point to see what the jerseys are going to look like. Now, they do look a lot like the season one jerseys, which, uh, you know, there had been some some uh, rumblings about that that may be a little different. Uh, but the most immediate difference is going to be that the away jerseys actually have the uh, Phoenix logo on it, while the home jerseys have the, the text written logo. Um, uh, I, I, this is a great way to kind of you know, set the two apart and make them not just, you know, recolors of one another. Now, uh, people have been asking for, you know, the home jersey with the Phoenix logo and to be able to mix and match. I don't know if that's going to be the case. We only saw, you know, one of each design. Um, but with a company like Fanatics, there's always a chance that they're going to offer that customization. Um, Fanatics is the company that, you know, I've talked about them, that they got an exclusive merchandising deal with the Overwatch League. And they do um, they do merchandise for, you know, NFL, college football, uh, MLB, um, NHL, just, just a bunch of different sports that they've been doing for a while. And they have very high quality products. So I'm really, really excited to see all of the different stuff that we're going to be offered from them. Um, I'm hoping that we hear news about that shop opening, if not this week, then next week. We're coming up very qu quickly on the uh, uh, opening day, like I said, and we're even supposed to be there's there's rumors of a preseason, uh, some preseason matchups that that has kind of been leaked out. So we haven't heard of those yet, but you know if that's happening, they're going to want to get the people buying the products as as soon as possible. So definitely keep an eye out, keep your ears open, and uh, I'll let you know as soon as I hear anything. Um, something else cool that came out with a video is that we saw our player numbers, um, and uh, I'll put a, a, a you know description of those in the description of the video uh, if you're interested in that. I did want to point out Defran got the number 99, so uh, the the legend of Defran 99 is right on schedule. It, it's happening, so very exciting there. Um, going further with the team, we have some pictures from the team house. So uh, Gator on Instagram put up a couple pictures of like the balcony and then one of the one of the hot tubs, I think. And uh, I think Dong Men on Twitter he posted a picture of a gigantic shower in one of the bathrooms, and and it's hilarious, uh, you know how extravagant extravagant this is um, to the point where I have heard uh, that the houses that have been revealed at this point are nothing compared to the house that Atlanta got for their team. And this makes me really happy that the guys are being, you know, just 
pampered and taken care of so much. Uh, to reiterate a point I've made before, you know, when you hear stories about players sleeping in the living room of apartments with a sheet as a divider to give them their own personal space, you really, really hope that that your team's not one of those teams or going to be one of those teams. And to hear that, you know, they're not wasting any any dime or they're they're not, you know, um, uh, penny pinching or anything like that. They're putting as much money as they feel that they should into supporting these guys and, and making sure that all they have to do is focus on what's important for them and the Atlanta organization has taken care of the rest. Um, but I don't want to get too much into uh, the team house or, or what I know about the team house. I, I think there's going to be a uh, uh, reveal video or at least I hope so. So um, keep an eye out for that. From what I understand, it is absolutely mental. So yeah. Uh, moving on into ATL Academy news. So uh, we just, as of last night at the time of this recording, played our last um, uh, regular season game versus Fusion University. This was our first loss. We, uh, we kind of schooled every other team. We had the best map differential in our group up to this point, and Fusion kind of knocked us down a peg, I'll be honest. Um, but, you know, frankly, being the optimist I am and looking at this, I'm going this isn't bad at all. This is possibly a best case scenario that we have proven how um, consistent, how strong the team is, and then locked ourselves in for the playoffs, and then went up against the reigning champion for the last two seasons, and they pointed out exactly what they know about us and what we need to improve on and change to beat them. So basically, we just got given a guide as to what we need to do between now and, and playoffs. If we would have gone in and just stomped the floor with them, yeah, it feels great to have a full, you know, undefeated regular season. But we don't know what we need to work on. We we just kind of, I guess, keep doing our own thing. And uh, we, we don't know about any weaknesses that haven't been exposed. Now we know. Now we know what we need to practice. And I'm, I'm really looking forward at what the team does when they bounce back into playoffs. Um, it's, it's going to be absolutely sick. So congratulations guys on an amazing, amazing first season as ATL Academy. And, uh, um, just what a, what a crazy, crazy season it was like you, you guys completely stomped pretty much everyone. And, uh, it's, it's time, it's time to prepare guys. So I'm looking forward to it. Very, very proud of you guys. Um, and lastly, I wanted to get into, uh, you know, I'm, I'm backing off on the fan art a little bit, just not because there's not any coming out, quite the opposite, actually. There is so much good fan art that I, I can't parse it all. I can't, I can't like, go through it and, and pick out what's what. Um, so I am going to be, you know, if I see one that really, you know, shines to me, I'll, I'll uh, highlight it. And if you guys have any fan art that you want me to talk about, definitely send it my way, and I'll make a note to, to put it in some of the videos. Um but the one I want to talk about right now is this little guy right here. And uh, this is a Pokemon version of our Pokemon mascot for the Atlanta Reign. Um, now, we didn't have a name for this little guy. I'm going to call him Rainix. I mean, that makes sense, right? Pokemon X, Rain, all that good stuff. Anyway. So, so yeah, a, a absolutely phenomenal work. I'll put a link in the description to uh, the, the source. Uh, such amazing artists in the community. And, um, and yeah. Um, so... February 15th, our first game is coming quicker and quicker. It will be here before we know it. Uh, we're already into January, so we're, we're barely over one month away from our first game. Remember, there is going to be a meetup at Battle & Brew in Atlanta, so uh, uh, be prepared for that. I know I'll be there. Several other members of the community will be there. And... Um, yeah, it's going to be amazing. So that's all I got for this week, guys. Uh, keep an eye out for the next couple of days for the overview of the ACL Academy Fusion University game. Uh, a lot of stuff to dig into there. And um, until we hear more news, guys, I'll talk to you later. Let it rain.